Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the maximum volume of the largest rectangular parallel paper that can be inscribed in an ellipsoid whose equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square plus x square by c square is equal to 1 by using the Lagrange's method of undetermined multipliers. This rectangular parallel paper is nothing but a cuboid. So, we have a cuboid like this and we are going to take length, breadth and height. Since it is inscribed inside an ellipsoid, so we are going to take the length as 2x, breadth as 2y and height as 2z. Now in the question they are asking to find the maximum volume of the largest rectangular parallel paper. So this volume formula is length into breadth into height. So this is 2x into 2y into 2z. So totally this volume is nothing but 8xyz. Let us take this as f of x comma y comma z. It is nothing but 8xyz. And from this ellipsoid equation we take g of x comma y comma z which is nothing but x square by a square plus y square by b square plus z square by c square and we have e equal to 1. Let us bring the 1 to this side. So minus 1. Now we have to write the auxiliary function. The auxiliary function capital F. Actually this capital F it will be in terms of x, y, z and lambda which is small f of x comma y comma z plus g of x comma y comma z. So capital F will become now 8 x y z plus lambda into x square by a square plus y square by b square plus z square by c square minus 1. Now as per the procedure, we have to find the partial differentiation of this f with respect to small x. So the first term 8y z are constant, it will be as it is plus lambda into x square differentiation is 2x divided by a square. Then we will equate this to 0. In the same way, you will find f y. It means 8 x z plus lambda into 2 y by b square. And as per the condition, we equate this to 0. Then we find f z which is 8 x y plus lambda into 2 z by c square. Now, we have three equations. From this we are going to find what is lambda. I will take this 8yz to the other side. So lambda into 2x by a square equal to minus 8yz and from this the value of lambda is minus 8 into yz into a square by 2x. In the same way I can take from the second part lambda and I can go to name as a second equation that is minus 8xz into b square by 2y. I have taken this from fy and from fz if I take lambda, lambda is going to be minus 8xy into c square whole divided by 2z. This is our third equation. Now, all the three are lambda. So, let us equate first and second. So, both are lambda. So, I am going to equate 8yz into a square by 2x equal to minus 8xz into b square by 2y. So, from this, we have to get a relation between two variables 
So here on either side, you can cancel minus 8, then this 2 and this z. So finally, the remaining terms are y and if I cross multiply, this y will come here. So y square a square equal to this x will be multiplied with this x. When I cross multiply, this x and this x will be multiplied. In the same way how this y and this y multiply. So it will become x square b square. So from this, actually we are getting a relation that is, let us carry this a square down. So x square by a square and here it is y square by b square. Let us keep this as a fourth equation. Now we are going to equate second and third. By equating 2 and 3, the second equation already we have it here minus 8xz b square by 2y which is equal to and third equation is minus 8xy into c square divided by 2z. So from this, once again, we can cancel minus 8, 2 and x. Minus 8, 2 and x on both the sides. And we have to cross multiply. So this z and this z will get multiplied and this y and this y will get multiplied. So totally we have z square b square equal to y square c square. Now once again if I bring c square down I get z square by c square equal to y square by b square. So this is our fifth equation. Now we are going to substitute fourth and fifth in our original equation. That is x square by a square plus y square by b square plus x square by c square is equal to 1. So let us copy that. We know ellipsoid equation x square by a square plus y square by b square plus z square by c square equal to 1. Now from the fourth equation the value of x square by a square is equal to y square by b square. So it means y square by b square, I can replace it by x square by a square itself. So the first term we will write as it is x square by a square. From the fourth equation, y square by b square is x square by a square. So let me write here x square by a square. In the same way, from the fifth equation, z square by b square is y square by b square. But y square by b square is again x square by a square. So once again, instead of z square by c square, I can use x square by a square itself equal to 1. So these three terms are identical terms. So 3x square by a square equal to 1. So from this, x square is equal to a square by 3. And from this, x is equal to a by root 3. If I substitute x as a by root 3, here we get the value of y square or y. So I copy this y square by b square equal to x square by a square. y square by b square equal to x square by a square. But from this expression x square by a square is 1 by 3. So we can straight away write this as 1 by 3. So we get x square uh, sorry y square by b square is equal to 1 by 3 it means y square is equal to b square by 3 it means y is equal to b by root 3 so we got the values of x and y in the same way from the fifth equation we know y square by b square value is 1 by 3 from here if we substitute here, z square by c square is equal to 1 by 3. That is z square by c square equal to 1 by 3. And from this, the value of z is c by root 3. So we got the value of x, y, z completely. Now, this is the maximum point. Therefore, the maximum point is x, y, z. So a by root 3 
comma b by root 3 comma c by root 3 but in the question they want the maximum volume since they want the maximum volume we have to substitute x y z in the volume formula 8 x y z therefore maximum volume is equal to by formula it is 8 x y z so it is 8 a by root 3 b by root 3 c by root 3 so totally it is 8 a b c by 3 root 3 cubic unit so we got the maximum volume